Jessica. Hey, we're here with It Takes Grace with some of our best friends in the whole wide world. Me and Stacy, yes, her name's the same as mine. Uh, we have been best friends since sixth grade. Um, so we, of course, every time we're around people that we love, we want to ask them what they think are the key ingredients to a great marriage. And so, guys, we're asking you, Stacy and Todd Sanders, how long have you been married? First of all, 10 years, right? 12. 12 years! I know it was on November 24th because that's my husband's birthday. 12 years this past November 24th. And so what do you think are the key ingredients for a great marriage? Go ahead, Stace. <laughs> what am I? Okay. Don't go to bed angry. That's, a good one. that's one of my best ones. Tell me more. <laughs> what does that mean? Don't go to bed angry. So, if you get in an argument... <laughs> We asked for it. <laughs> in the middle of the day, and it's bothering you, I feel like at some point throughout that day, you need to get together and communicate. Communicate's one of the top things for a marriage. Yeah. So, work it out, and then go to sleep. Yeah, because I feel what that means to me is if we go to bed angry, tomorrow morning when we wake up, it won't be such a big issue, and so we'll kind of uh, both kind of brush it up under the rug, but... Um, it will fester, and so when something else happens, it'll just continue to kind of snowball. And so if we don't kind of nip it in the bud, then, then that's how I understand it. And yeah. she always has to remind me to, we got to work this out. We can't go to bed angry. So Good for um, you. For me, one of the most important things of being in a loving life, life long marriage is to go to um, uh, marriage retreats or I don't want to say marriage counseling, but marriage retreats, go to those before you have to. And so we, we uh, try to go to those every now and then, um, not as often as we probably would like to, but every couple of years we, we escape and go off to a weekend and it just kind of rekindles the fire. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's important to me. Awesome. All right, so one other thing before we let y'all go. Um, I know that a lot of your marriage you've spent traveling for your job. And so, mm -hmm. Stacy, you've been at home and taking care of the house and the kids and all these kind of things and keeping things going. Mm -hmm. And, Todd, you've worked. So what are things that you do to help overcome the challenge of that in your marriage and keep it great? Mm -hmm. Again, point. communication. Um, just staying in contact with each other when he's gone. Um, we try to FaceTime as much as possible um, when he's gone. Prayer. Mm -hmm. Prayer is one of my big things. So the kids and I are constantly praying for Todd while he's gone. So I'm praying that he feels that presence in his life when he's away from us. And then when he comes home, we like to do date days. So when the kids are at school and daddy's home, mommy and daddy have dates during the day while they're gone. So we try to go get some brunch at Cracker Barrel. That's great. Or what's our favorite one? Uh, just little local spots. Um, so I'm sure you guys have one in your little area. So just yeah, find a little local mm -hmm. niche that's quiet and that you can go to. Um, for me, so traveling, I'm usually in a hotel more than I'm at my own bed. And so uh, the communication piece is big. And one thing that we do that's I appreciate at least yeah. is we share calendars on our phone. And so when I'm in a uh, middle of a work day and um, I find out that I have to be in a meeting somewhere, I can at least look at my phone and, and say, I'm sorry, I'm already, un I'm unavailable that day. Or I at least communicate with Stacy and say, hey, uh, this, this is happening. Or she can see it on her end too. So that's a big, important communication piece. Communication. Yeah, that's the big one. So, and when we are home, we try to... Um, spend a little bit of time, which something I'm working on is that whole work-life balance and being at home when I'm at home. And that's everything from being intimate to um, family time together. Family time, um, helping do the dishes and catch up on laundry. Mm -hmm. And so uh, it's, it's a little bit of everything. But One thing I love when he is away, it's all me, mostly. Mm -hmm. So when he comes home, he tends to help me. And I love that about him, um, that you just step in and do the dishes or he'll help me fold clothes while he's um, watching TV. Like, just those little things mean so much. So. And do them all wrong, but that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> he just made a whole meal, like a whole New Year's dinner in about 10 minutes over here. So don't even listen to that mess. 
You know, y'all are so sweet. I love y'all so much. And thank you, you for pouring into our marriage. And we look up to y'all a lot. So, yeah, um, thanks. Yeah, thanks. Y'all been so great. So, yeah. we talk about this all the time. You have to do what works for your marriage. And so, I love finding people that are just, that have different challenges and different issues and all these kind of things. And then hearing what their things are as well. So, I hope that's helped you. All right. Anything else? Awesome. See you later. It tastes great. It tastes great. Bye. <laughs>